afternoon, I'm meteorologist Lisa Villegas. Let's get a look at what we can expect. First of all, if you have not been outdoors today, you have to. And in fact, in the next couple of days, it's going to feel very similar. A lot cooler. We've got the humidity dropping. It's really comfortable out there. We did reach a high of around 83 degrees, which is right where we're sitting currently across Charlotte Mecklenburg right now. So as we take a look at those current conditions, quiet, not experiencing any rain unlike yesterday, if you'll remember, and those temperatures now upper 70s, at least for those over in Chester. We're looking at 79 over in Hickory, so just a quiet, beautiful afternoon for a lot of us here on our Tuesday. Now tomorrow morning, once you head out the door, Talked about those temperatures eventually falling upper 50s, lower 60s. So if you can take advantage of this nice weather, may want to even open up some of those windows. But a refreshing start to the day, humidity continuing to drop. And so by tomorrow afternoon, high temperatures, they are going to peak in the lower 80s. As we take a look tomorrow, probably around 3, 4 o'clock, 81 degrees over in Charlotte. We're looking at those low 80s all across the Piedmont area. Lower 70s up in the mountains, a little cooler there with those upper 70s over in the foothills. Now throughout the afternoon, temperatures eventually warming their way into the lower 80s, but the bulk of it in the 70s. So if you want to head over to Carowinds, 12 o'clock, 73 degrees by 2 o'clock, 77 expected for that temperature. And then by 4, 3, 4 o'clock, lower 80s. So it's going to be really nice, not only tomorrow, but we're also going to remain quiet here through the week. Not a whole lot of rain chances happening, only picking up just a little bit there on Tuesday, watching for an approaching frontal system by the end of the seven day forecast. So because we are going to be a little dry here this week, you might want to do a little gardening or maybe even water those plants. Now you'll be good to go taking care of that or even washing the car, but if you had some rain yesterday, you might be good for the next couple of days, but by Friday and as we head into the weekend, those temperatures begin to rise and the humidity slowly starts to return. So that's when you're really want to gonna or when you're going to want to head out there. Now, here's a look at the dew points. Speaking of that lower humidity that's taking place right now, dew points, lower 60s, upper 50s. So we're really starting to see that lower humidity settling in. So in the last 24 hours, we've noticed those temperatures dropping for a lot of us like Charlotte down into Chesterfield around three to five degrees. And as we continue to press forward here by tomorrow morning, dew points in that green color, very pleasant looking at the green there and then comfortable for those in the yellow, which we're going to continue throughout tomorrow afternoon as those high temperatures peak in the lower 80s. So that is what we're pretty much expecting through Friday, even Saturday, some lower humidity. Now, as we head into Sunday, this is when the temperatures begin to pick up a little bit. Humidity does return and those lower 90s, they do pop right back up in our forecast Monday and Tuesday. But remember, like we talked about, we are going to remain dry, so that's something to keep in mind that we are going to have to water those plants and overnight lows continue to be comfortable here all week long in the 60s. And that is a look what we can expect. Lisa, thank you.